Yo, what's up guys? Cast Blast back with some more Clash of Clans content. Uh, today or this week we're doing all new attacks, stuff you guys have been asking for. I'm kicking off the week with some Town Hall 10 attacks um, and we're going to be using Bowler Walk. It's kind of what I've gotten into. Um, you take a look at this base here in my troop setup. So basically this is the same kind of army I use on every attack. I'm taking 22 bowlers, 7 healers, a couple wall breakers. Um, depending on the base, I usually bring a freeze, a jump, and 3 rages. And then I bring some giants in my CC. So I am using that uh, bowler hero giant mix. Um, and you'll see this is a Town Hall 10. It's kind of lower levels. Uh, he does have them double inferno towers right there and there. Um, and all you want to do is, is cut a side funnel. We're going to go over this quick. So I'm going to jam in three replays. Um, but what you really want to do is just cut in a side funnel on these, getting your bowlers. See, I set them up there at the top with some healers and I set some more bowlers at the bottom. Now this attack was working really awesome for me. Uh, you can see, I just lost some healers there. Ouch. Due to some air bombs. Um, but this attack was working really amazing for me, uh, right before they did all those nerfs. Um, and now it's been a little less effective, uh, but you see, I get down my, uh, my poisons for the CC and I throw down the freeze where the CC and the Inferno is, um, so that those bowlers and healers under rage can start doing some work right when they hit that, uh, secondary Inferno. Um, I popped another rage and it just totally obliterated the base. The bowlers bounced them all online. Uh, we'll see. I believe this is a three star. Uh, that's why I recorded it. Um, but it, it works. So the healers left alive. Unfortunately, my bowlers got blown up by a lot of bombs and, uh, those healers just started aggroing my heroes. Um, but it does pull off when you're throwing bowlers on each corner. Uh, you'll see the main point of this attack, uh, Basically, get your bullers coming around here. Keep them healed. Uh, a group and another group around here. If you can get the rest of your troops in the middle and successfully meet all your troops at the end of the base, this attack works out amazing. Um, and you'll see it over and over again. So this one, it kind of fades out right at the end. This isn't a fully maxed Town Hall 10, but he did have the double Inferno Towers built. Uh, so you can see the power of this attack and it works out. Well, let's check out a couple more attacks and you'll see what I'm talking about. So here we go again. You see, another, this is another base, kind of lower defenses. He does have the double Inferno Towers again. Um, and the reason I kind of wanted to hold off making this video, I know you guys have been asking for it a lot. Uh, Town Hall 10 content. But I wanted to bring you guys a Town Hall 10 strategy that I knew worked pretty much 100% of the time. And that's what I've always tried to do with you guys. Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9, no matter what. And then I hit Town Hall 10. I went to medic school and I kind of hit this point where attacks working 100% of the time for three stars. I only want three stars, guys. That's been my mentality for years. And uh, unfortunately, you just don't find it. Um, so you see, I get healers on each edge. Um, I did put three bullers on each edge of the base and then healers on my giants. I pop that rage. Now raging your healers is pretty darn imperative as your troops run in. Now he didn't set any middle, uh, inferno towers. That's easy for me to save my, uh, freeze for kind of the end of the base here. And a hound pops out, which means my queen's just going to be working on that hound. Um, blowers are kind of blowing me around, giving me trouble, but I am going to three star this base again. I freeze that inferno because it was hitting my king and I didn't want it to take down my king yet. So my king got out of the way during that freeze. That's kind of what I wanted. Um, and then they'll go over and deal with that inferno later. But you can see my bullers on each edge of the base are just working together, cleaning up the junk trying to meet my troops in the middle. They're kept alive by healers. Uh, the giants bowlers in the middle are kept alive by healers. Um, you know, I just, there's something about this. You can always, always get two stars on a town hall 10 with this. And that's what you want. Um, getting three stars. Now that's going to take a little bit of skill and a little bit of luck, um, luck on the traps, getting your stuff down, right? But it does work. You can see it again. There's another three star. 
I had lots of max base three stars when I first hit Town Hall 10. Um, and that was right before that bowler and healer nerf. And that kind of took out a lot of my replays. It's pretty frustrating. But let's take a look at another attack here. So here's another lower base again. Double Infernos again. Um, does this attack work? Yes, guys. But am I super satisfied with it? Not really. So uh, you can get them triples on, on the max bases, guys. It's just not as likely all the time. Um, but here it is. You got your healers, bowlers, giants. It, it's been working for me. Cutting your funnels is a big deal. Um, getting your your damage spread out is a pretty big deal on this. Uh, making sure your healers aggro in on those giants is a part I see people fail a lot. But you'll see I'm cutting cutting the edges and I'm sending my troops in straight to that middle where I want it. Kind of why I did it this way. Um, he had a lot of junk defenses trying to aggro your troops out. Uh, and I wanted to get my jump in the middle there. Um, get the heroes, get the CC, get the Inferno down. So you'll see my troops start moving in the middle. This is kind of how it's always going to play. You want to jam your bowlers up and you get that rage going to where your bowlers and your heroes can all hit it. This is usually a pretty clutch move if you can do it, guys. If you're going to use a freeze on the Inferno Tower, try to hit the CC, the Inferno, and a hero. If you can get all three of those and throw your poisons down, man, good night. CC. I mean, that is a killer move. Keeps your giants alive. You'll see they didn't get blast by whiz. My troops are just going to continue move in. Um, I threw that jump right in the middle to get things moving in the directions you want them. Now, the points that can be detrimental to this, of course, Inferno Towers blazing through your bowlers. Um, also, if double giant bombs, if you run your bowlers and to double giant bombs, it does not matter what your healers are doing. Your bowlers will not survive. Um, you'll see I hit one bomb there and it almost takes them out. So if they hit double giant bombs, it will crush them. So things you want to look out in bases, spots where there could be double giant bombs. Try to get your giants in there first. Um, or avoid it. Put jumps in areas to get your bowlers out of the way. That will be a game killer. So you can see I uh, kept my bullers live up top. I threw a rage on them thinking they would uh, take that inferno out. They did not. So that kind of really didn't work for me. Um, but my heroes are going to meet the bullers. Or no, my bullers got all taken out. My heroes are just going to finish up the last of the base. I still haven't even used my queen's ability. So game over. <coughs> But that's the Town Hall 10 attack that I've seen most consistent since I've been here a short time. Mind you, I'm a new Town Hall 10. Uh, I still have my Town Hall 9 heroes, um, 31, 32, just in a level or two on them. Got my bowlers up to level 2, and I did that right away, and I started doing this attack. I started it for farming, uh, for pushing, and then for war attacks, and that's kind of where I've been at in the Town Hall 10 game. Like I said, it's... Finding a consistent three-star automatic strategy is going to be a chore. You know, it's going to be something we're going to walk through. But this is where I'm at. Town Hall 10 content. Bowler's Giant Heroes. I'm sorry. Bowler's Giant Healers. Uh, that's what I'm using. So go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you want. Uh, ask me questions if you got them. Tell me your guys' thoughts. What have you been using? What do you see that works? And I'll catch you guys next time.